hi guys you're welcome to the second tutorial of this uh, particular playlist uh the weather application uh in this particular module we'll be adding the weather list uh data this is going to be a dummy data and uh all uh we're going to be using uh the source file we started with uh from the create layout so we'll be working on this and be adding some dummy data onto the recycler view so that we're going to actually see how to actually get data into our recycler view right there in my under studio i have the source file still from the previous uh tutorial so if you're uh watching this video for the first time i will implore you to get your hands on the first tutorial which is on creating the layout so we'll move straight down to the uh the java classes because we still have our java classes uh we move straight down to our java classes uh we still have our application right intact uh the main activity uh, the utilities sub package where we have the network utils the open weather json utilities the weather date utilities and the weather utils and we have the data which is the weather preferences now in the main activity this is where the inclusion will actually be done uh what about we have the we create an array of strings that contains fake weather data this strings array contains dummy weather data later in the course or later in this tutorial we're going to get the real weather data for now we want to get something on the screen as quickly as possible so we're going to display this dummy data so that takes us down to this uh dummy weather data string what we have today may 17 clear 17 degrees celsius to 15 degrees celsius well for the tomorrow which is cloudy thursday raining friday thunderstorms saturday thunderstorms sunday raining monday partly cloudy for Tuesday, Wednesday, down to Monday, we have the meatballs, the cloudy, the stormy, the hurricane, the meteors, the apocalypse, and the post-apocalypse. Okay. Right there, we you know this is just a dummy data. And we're going to append each string from the fake weather data array to the text view. So we're going to iterate through the array and spend the string to this. We're going to append the string to the text view. The reason we're going to add this is after the string is to give the visual separation between each string in the text view later we're going to learn about a better way to display the list of data so that's just the for loop you're seeing him right here because uh it's actually going to iterate through and append to the m weather text view we have this m weather text view right in the activity forecast xml so after doing this uh you're going to have all this listed in a recycler list or in the recycler view on the weather application I'll be showing the screen because of this particular session and we'll be moving straight down to the third model of this particular uh, playlist which is going to be basically on networking where we're going to be integrating the open weather JSON utilities gotten from this uh, JSON uh, uh, file from the cloud and we're going to integrate it right into our application so we'll be talking about the networking the async tags and so on so catch me up on the third model and we're going to uh, get ourselves coding on networking. Bye-bye.